Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here for 94FM The Fish. It's time for another Dish on the Fish restaurant spotlight. You're not gonna believe where we're at. We are at Barbecue and I'm going crazy right now because all I can smell is barbecue pouring out of this place. Okay, the best part about Barbecue is a drive through Can you believe it? You don't even have to get out of your car to eat barbecue. How cool is that? Look how huge their menu is. Since Memorial Weekend's on us, we want to sit outside and they have the perfect patio for it. Look at that. We sit out here and look at that beautiful view. See the American flag, Kings Highway, Old Fort Parkway. Check this out. You got sweet sauce, mild sauce, Carolina sauce, hot sauce, Tennessee fire, and those really hot peppery things. Not a clue. And ketchup. And a roll of paper towels. This is the perfect setup for barbecue. I'm Christy McFarland. Uh huh. And are you one of the owners? Um, yes. So our family started barbecue in 1950. Um, it's actually my husband's family who started it way back, his grandfather. Um, so we've been in business for 65 years. And how many locations do you have? Um, we have eight locations in Middle Tennessee. We have um, one location in Georgia, one in Ohio, a couple in Texas. We've got um, a couple more opening in Texas this year, so several. So uh, so what what made the family start this? I mean, what was it a, a sauce or was it an idea or you guys just like the family had back in the day had cookouts or what? Well, I guess all of the above. Um, our family, we love people, we love food. Um, you could probably tell that by looking at the people in our family and being around us. Um, we're still in the restaurants every day. That's why um, my husband isn't here and my husband's father isn't here. They're working in a restaurant today. Um, so we just love the whole environment. Um, bringing people together over food is just something that, um, that we enjoy doing. Not to mention the recipes. Um, barbecue is something that just, it's hard to get it's hard to get right. So um, we really take pride in um, the, the low and slow cooking it for 18 hours and all the rubs. I'm that sorry, we hold on. on the, hold on. My, I gotta wipe my mouth. The meat. My mouth's watering, <laughs> forgive me. Yeah. I was told you guys are big on local stuff. You support a lot of local industry. What is it you, you use here that's local? Well, yeah, local super, super important to us. Um, we have local wood that we use. So um, regionally, we would use like hickory wood here because that's kind of what grows in the area. Um, in other regions, we'll use mesquite wood. The time it takes to drive from our Nashville locations to our Texas locations in the Rio Grande Valley is how long our butts smoke overnight it's you a long said, time but i'm oh, sorry that was funny <laughs> so craig i love your hat can i see your hat Just tip, your head. <laughs> tip your head down a minute oh my gosh i'm a hat guy sorry about that <laughs> so you're the general manager yes sir how long have you been here i've been here tw right at almost 20 and a half years really yeah okay so like everybody i've talked to has been here like a really long time is it like a it's got to be total family here that a big part of it is me my wife my daughter we, I, my wife's been here 22 years. I, my daughter just started here, but all in all, my wife and I combined been here 40 years. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if I wanted to work here, you're the guy to talk to, right? Yes, sir. You even oversee the cooking? I do. Okay, that means you get your hands on the food, right? Unfortunately, yes. Okay, I'm getting excited. <laughs> that means you can show me food right now, right? Yes, sir. You're awesome, can we do that? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm a little city boy guy here, so uh, what what is that? That is our cream stalk corn, which we make from scratch every day ourselves with uh, heavy whipping cream. Oh my goodness. And as well as the uh, shoe peg kernel corn. Oh, shoe peg? Yeah. That's like the best. That is our baby back ribs. I got a half, I got a quarter rack of ribs that is uh, dry and a quarter rack that is sauced. Look how moist that is. You can tell by the bone. If the bone's glistening, the bone doesn't have any meat and it's juicy. Okay, if you can't identify this, this is a rib. Me and this rib are de- Mmm. 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 Okay, and then what is this little pile of heaven right here? That is our, uh, bar our, our smoked barbecue pork. Alright. Am I good? Am I good? Here we go. Pulled pork. And it's moist. Thank you. Barbecue, 
thank you for not giving me dry pulled pork. It's so moist and delicious. That's what I live for. Okay, what do we got here? What's that? That is our sliced beef brisket. Another pile of goodness, what is that? That is our uh, hickory smoked chopped brisket. Okay, so it's the sliced brisket versus the chopped brisket. You guys already made your decision. Here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, now the chopped. Okay, that, that's just easy. That's just super easy. I'm a chopped guy. I don't even know what that means, but I just made it up. So good. Uh, you guys smoke wings? We smoke wings every day. I want to say something about wow. our wings. Yeah. I'm so proud of our wings. They are so meaty and juicy, and they're so good. Um, but the thing I really like about our wings is you can try any of our sauces on the wings and make your little concoction out of our variety of sauces, and um, they just melt in your mouth. They're, they're people just love, love our wings. Uh, can I, can everybody see that? Am I not close? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that beautiful? And what do we got here? That is our um, hickory smoked turkey. <sighs> Nobody does turkey other than you guys, of course. Now I have to totally admit, when I think barbecue, I don't think desserts, but you guys have this beauty. What is this? That is our um, peach cobbler with ice cream on top. Okay, guys, now this is, this. I'm being serious. I know I joke around a lot, but I need you to do me a favor. Don't let my wife know that I had this, okay? Because she'll, she'll, she'll kill me. Barbecue, I love you. I love you. I'm in the Murfreesboro location. Check them out. Remember drive through. They have drive through. So don't cook on Memorial Day. You hear me? Drive through and get your food for the family. Then you can stay by the pool with Barbecue. And if you forgot that, don't forget Father's Day. Let them have the day off and get more Barbecue. And if you still forgot that, how about Fourth of July? I love you guys. I'm doing dish on the fish for 94 FM, The Fish.